Hello! I am going to show you that really easy um, makeup routine that I talked about in my last blog post. Um, I have been super busy lately and I'm exhausted and I know so many of you can relate. Um, I, it's just been a busy summer. The products I'm going to use today are actually all from Revlon or Alme. Um, if you have read my recent blog post that I talked about, the, the cosmetic ones, I did talk about some other brands that I am loving and my makeup bag is actually bursting, which is the first time in a long time I've loved so many different products, but I wanted to keep it simple for you. So I'm going to use the products just from those two brands today and um, potentially I'll do other bl or video blogs with other um, brands or a mix of brands. Um, I'm going to do the, the makeup I have on right now, which is really simple, really quick. It is under five minutes. I think I timed myself and it was a three minute face. So the first product I'm going to put on my face is the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream in the color light. It's an SPF 30, which I'm loving because it's been pretty warm here. The next thing I want to do is cover my under eye circles um, the best as best as I can. Um, I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. Can you even see when I do that? Does that make a difference? We'll pretend it does. I'm actually using a color that's a bit darker than the, the BB cream. I'm using number three, which is light medium. The lovely Jackie of Revlon um, told some of us gals that it's actually a misconception that you should use a lighter color to cover your under eye circles. And that's, I think, what most of us, at least I grew up thinking. And if you choose a color that actually is more... Not this, obviously not the same color as your under eye circles, but the same darkness, if that makes sense. It covers them better. So don't go too dark, but you know, try to start maybe a shade or two shades darker than your um, the foundation you're putting on and see how that goes. Because trust me, I, I, I didn't quite get it at first, but I've been doing it since and it makes a world of difference. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of color to my face. I've been using the Alme Smart Shade Powder Bronzer. I've been using color, well, color 40, which is sun-kissed. Um, and I really like it. I, I just really do want to look sun-kissed, so it works for me. I actually, I've been outside, though, this summer a bit more. I said I was going to, and I have been outside. I even have a tiny tan, so self high five. Next are my eyes. Again, very simple. I don't use tools. I use my fingers. Um, I've been using this Alme Intense Eye Color Trio. Um, it's color 412. It's the trio for blues, so blue eyes. I, when I'm in a hurry, just use the, um, the one color. I don't know if eyes are supposed to get a tan, but I feel like this bronzy color kind of gives me that effect. So I get sun tanned eyelids. Next is mascara. I'm going to use the Revlon Lash Potion Grow Luscious Volume and Length Mascara. I believe it's in Blackest Black and it is this. Uh, I like the brush. It's a little bent. So when you're putting it on it kind of has that angle and it prevents people like me from getting mascara in their hair because that happens more than I'd like to admit. And last, I'm going to put on lip gloss. Um, I haven't been wearing as much of it lately, to be honest with you, but I have two new favorites for the summer, and they are actually both coincidentally by Revlon and Alme, um, which works for this video. But um, one is the Revlon, and it is um, Kiss Me Coral. It's kind of a corally with a bit of a sparkle. I Instagrammed it the other day. Um, oh, it's so pretty. 
pretty on. But the one that I have to say is my actual favorite is the Almay one and it is called Pink. It is number 500 and I love it so, so very much. So if you're looking for pink lip gloss, it's definitely a new favorite of mine. So that is that. That is how I made this face happen. Don't be disappointed. Um, but anyways, hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, I'm going to list the products, the exact products, on my blog underneath this video. So thank you for watching, and I will hopefully be back very soon.